Who makes more money? Solution architects or enterprise architects? Hello friends. I was making a video on the responsibilities of solution architect. I was asked a question by the subscriber. What are the responsibilities of solution architect? For that, I was doing some research and I found some shocking salary statistics about solution architect and enterprise architect. I will share later in the video. So first I will discuss what are the enterprise architects, what are their responsibilities, how solution architects are different than enterprise architects. And finally, I'll discuss the salary part. So if you just, if you, uh, if you know what are the responsibilities of enterprise architect, solution architect, I'll put the chapter information down. You can go to that chapter directly. So to understand the responsibilities of a solution architect, you have to understand what are the, our enterprise architect. There was a time I used to wonder how many architects are there. There was a guy who was in networking and his title was architect. And I say, what do you do? He say, he, he say he set up networks. What he does was laying wires. So we have network architects, we have information architects, we have enterprise architects, solution architect. So we will be discussing what are, what, so we will be discussing about enterprise architect and solution architect. So enterprise architects are very high level architects. Think of an organization. It has multiple departments, sales, marketing, finance, and uh, inventory. Enterprise architect, you can think of, they will be sitting on the top of all these departments and they are looking for how to implement IT strategies, architect architectural governance on all the departments, deciding technologies, strategies for the whole organization. Whereas, whereas solution architect will be working closely with the team in a department, in sales department, he will be directly working with programmers. So in other words, enterprise architect decide what is the strategy and solution architects implement that strategy. Enterprise architects also looking for, enterprise architects also looking for that there's no duplication of technical effort in the organization. If you need single access to application, so architects may define you, you need to use one technology in all the departments. I have seen in some departments that enterprise architect, they, they wanted to reduce the cost of licenses. They went for one technology. They encouraged everybody to use one technology so that we won't be spending money on the licenses for the other technology. I have seen enterprise architect preparing the architectural roadmap for the organization, what are the technologies they will be using, or how the cloud technologies will help the organization. They also see these new technologies, uh, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and uh, big data. What are the returns the organization is getting? Is it worth investing resources, money into these technologies? So coming back to the solution architects. Solution architects will find out the technical problems. If there's a, some problem nobody else can solve, a solution architect will be called to fix that problem. Uh, your servers are getting down, application is getting down, there are memory leaks. Chances are you will, as a solution architect, you will be called to do some memory profiling, do logging for the databases, give technical solutions which are common to all applications. All applications need authentication and <clears throat> all applications need authentication and authorization. So you will be mentoring, guiding or leading the developers. Whereas enterprise won't be in touch with developers at daily basis. So as solution architect, you will be finding out what are the good practices, what solution they give to the business, what are the good containers, what are the good frameworks. So you may be evolving what is the right technology, what is the right data access, 
there's a new new version of .NET framework. Uh, so you will be evolving, you will be coming up with strategy, how we can upgrade all the applications to new .NET technology. If new application is starting, you will figure out what are the good frameworks, what are the good practices in the market, and how you can implement in new solution to give the best value to the business stakeholders. I was doing research for the video, finding out what are the best practices for the industry for solution architect. I found this article on Indeed, Solution versus Enterprise Architect. Indeed is a very popular website in USA for finding jobs. This I found shocking that solution architects make national average salary of $1,056,537 per year and they may get 14,000 cash bonus also. Enterprise architect make $153,420 per year. Enterprise architect are making less than solution architect. Personally, I have seen it differently. Enterprise architect being promoted from solution architect, uh, they were given higher salary band, higher bonus. But uh, this salary also makes sense to me. The part of enterprise architect is to prepare catalogs, make sure all the applications is all the applications being developed are fulfilling company's mission. There's no duplication effort. They come with strategies. They don't need to be that technical hands-on. A lot of a lot of stuff they are doing is preparing documentation, preparing catalog, um, managing information. So there's a possibility that uh, you can hire person who is less technical than solution architect and you may pay them less so friends if you like this video watch my other videos in application architecture blog also like it share it and subscribe to my channel for your regular updates connect with me on linkedin and twitter especially linkedin if you like small summaries of the video i will be posting a lot of small summaries of the video on linkedin thanks again